All right, so here's the uh, Type 4 motor. I got the uh, pistons cleaned up last night. They were uh, pretty dirty. The owner washed them up, but I had to redo them. Here's a little Scotch Sprite. Got them looking pretty new. And uh, got the new ring pack in there. Use some uh, Grant rings. Pretty good, pretty good. Not too much money, and they work very well. I've never had a problem with these. It's a good brand, and you can get them in a lot of different places. They come in a nice package. It'll be ring one, ring two, and the oil ring. And then they replace these old style original rail type uh, oil ring with a uh, new style ring. You get the two rails and the wiper, or the two wipers in the rail, I should say. So those are looking pretty good. We're getting ready to uh, assemble the uh, keepers and the pistons. These have a snap ring type uh, keeper. And when you're dealing with these keepers, you wanna look at the keeper. The keeper has a round side and it also has a flat side. So when we turn it over, that is the flat side. You can see how it's uh, almost ground flat. This side is beveled. Let me uh, put two by side by side. So here's the uh, flat side on this one, and there's the round side. And it's hard to see through the camera, but you want to look at it with your eye. You always want the uh, flattest edge facing out towards the uh, outside of the piston, and the rounded part towards the wrist pin. If you put the uh, rounded part out, sometimes it can uh, get pushed out by the wrist pin if it gets loaded up against the uh, keeper, which uh, happens if you have excessive uh, flywheel in play. So uh, it's important to make sure the flat side goes out and the round side goes towards the wrist pin. <clears throat> so that's what's going on there. I don't have a cameraman right now or a camera stand. I'd set you up for the uh, assembly here. I'm going to uh, put the snap ring on the inside of both liners, and that way I can uh, slide the wrist pin through and put the keeper in. When you're doing one of these, this cylinder here is the first one to go on on this side. You have to put the lock on this side and then slide your wrist pin in from over here. These are sort of hard to work with because the uh, rod is so short and doesn't come out of the deck of the block very far so it can be a pain in the ass to get the uh, first pin keepers in so anyway that's what's going on with this thought I'd make a quick little video there and uh, show you about the uh, snap rings I had a couple of people have been watching my uh, engine videos and uh, they said that I didn't detail the top of the motor too much so I have another uh, single port that's coming up after this. This is just sort of a YouTuber that popped in, had a problem. First it started off with some uh, broken bolts. And uh, this cylinder head had dropped a, a seat. So uh, the owner took it over to the machine shop. They put a seat in it. They brought it back and then I uh, valve job both heads and refaced the valves and uh, then there was a broken bolt issue he was going to take it and have the bolts drilled out and nobody wanted to do that so he brought it back and drilled all the bolts out and then we got into uh, sealing the bottom of the jugs because these had got compromised and uh, then the rings were bad uh, you can see these rings completely black so once the rings wear, they said that the back of the bus had a bunch of oil on it. So that usually means the uh, rings are no longer sealing to the cylinder. There's uh, no sense taking something apart and not fixing the problem when you're right there. So this is where we're at. Hopefully today this will be uh, out of here. I'm just assembling the uh, basic long block. And then he's going to finish it all up and put it in the bus. Bring it back over and I'll tune it up for him when he gets it all installed. So, let me go ahead and get going on this. I'll try to clip some videos together for you today and uh, make a little shot blog. Hope you guys are having a good day. 
And uh, yeah, we'll be back with you next thing.